duelists around the world. It's time for you to prove yourself. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is coming out with the World Championship event, and you should be playing. Stage one of the tournament that everyone is invited to begins on the 15th of May, so soon. But there's no reason to be nervous about this tournament because regardless of who you are and how you do, everyone is a winner. Just by participating, you can get up to 1,000 gems. And not only that, you're gonna get a royal finish Blackwing Full Armor Master card, and also an icon that features the card. The way the tournament works is pretty simple. Stage one is gonna start on the 15th of May, and in order to get to the regional qualifiers, you just have to get to duel level 20 by winning enough duels. Once you get into the regional qualifiers, if you get that far, you're gonna start building up points and whoever has the most points during this period will be chosen as that region's representative. How to get points, you win. And then if you lose, you lose points. Pretty simple. But what's really cool is if you actually win in the regionals, you're gonna be invited to Japan, where you can participate in the World Championship Finals with a team of your choice in your region. So as long as you have two friends who also made it to the regional qualifiers, you can invite them with you to Japan. That's that's insane. Make sure to follow the link down below in the description so you can find all the information that you need about the WCS coming up. And you know what? I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna attempt to use in the World Championship Series in Master Duel. And this is the deck that I plan on using in the WCS. Now, don't laugh. I, there's a method to my madness here. It is 45 cards, and you're gonna be like, why, why would you do that? Why would you do that to yourself? I have an idea. Basically, I wanted to put a different spin on having all three God cards in the same deck. But I was also bearing in mind the fact that I think one of the dominating themes that we're going to run into in the WCS, if I were a betting man, would be Tier Laments. Tier Laments thrive off of getting graveyard effects, so I decided what if I threw in some graveyard control, but also played my favorite theme of all, which is the Divine Beasts, aka the Egyptian Gods. So while the deck looks a little messy, I'm here to prove that you can get creative in this WCS and you don't have to just follow some strict guidelines. Have fun with this and, you know, I'm gonna prove it right now by winning some duels in ranked. Speaking it into existence, let's go. All right, I'm going second, which is okay, I think, because I have sphere mode. So, you know, assuming I draw, which I will because I am the wielder. I am the wielder of sphere mode. I just speak positivity into existence. This is actually a really good starting hand, going second or first. So the beauty of sphere mode, if you didn't know, uh, I'm sure most of you do, but in case you don't, the Winged Dragon of Raw sphere mode, I contribute up to three cards from my opponent's side of the field in order to normal summon this card. Uh, the beauty of that is, if he gets a, we're up against tier limits, okay. So we're getting exactly what my deck was designed to hopefully be able to handle because I believe we're gonna be seeing a lot of this in the world championship event coming up and this is going to be a really strong deck so i don't blame anyone for using it but you know i like to find the outliers the the fun unexpected decks that might be able to put up a decent challenge and he's getting going basically if you've never seen tier laments in action what they do is they try to send their cards from the deck or the hand or sometimes the field into the graveyard and that's when their effects really start to take off i'm going to save kelbeck they go to the graveyard and then they're able to fusion summon into different scary monsters all right he creates kit kalos kit kalos is a very strong card as you can see it's limited to one for a reason a lot of effects going off do i activate kelbeck let's see target one card on the field and destroy it so he's attempting to target his kit kalos destroy it and send it to the graveyard but if this card is sent to the graveyard i was gonna kelbeck it away but uh i think he could read that i had kelbeck so that didn't happen all right that's not how i expected to win but uh i think he detected that i had kelbeck and i was gonna return his kit kalos back to the extra deck it wouldn't have necessarily stopped his game but i i don't think he was a fan of my interruption so do i want to go first or second i'm gonna try to go first my deck is better going second i have a lot of going second cards but uh we're gonna try first because there is one particular combo i might be able to pull off with revive sky god i didn't get revive sky god but this isn't this isn't bad so i'm gonna start by Thinning out my deck a little bit by grabbing my one Wing Dragon of Raw. I only run one because Ancient Chant can pull Wing Dragon of Raw from the graveyard as well. So uh, not end of the world if I lose that. I don't know what my opponent is playing, so it's a little dangerous to do what I'm about to do here. I'm going to play Diviner of the Herald. 
activate it, and I'm going to send away a Kelbeck. Once Kelbeck is sent away, I can discard or send the top five cards of each of our decks to the graveyard. It looks our, like our opponent's playing Pendulums. I also got Agito in the grave, so I'll send another five. And I'm going... Ooh, this is a good five. This, this is good cards I got in the graveyard so far. We got Electromagnetic Turtle. That's going to protect us. Slap for the Sky Dragon. We have Revived Sky God in the deck. I'm also going to add or activate Agito's effect in my hand, which basically says if my opponent sends cards from the top of their deck or their hand to the graveyard, I can special summon this. And then I'm also going to special summon Kelbeck. And that's going to send five more away. I'm going to do this. Let's go with the safe option. We're going to create a very powerful synchro card. Baron de Fleur. Hey, such a beautiful card. All right, so that's going to be our negate to uh, hopefully protect us a little bit next turn. And then I'm also, this could be a little risky, going to activate Revive Sky God, which says once in the graveyard, as long as I have a Divine Beast in my graveyard, I can add Monster Reborn from the top of my deck to the hand. I'm going to play Monster Reborn. Now I have options here. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab Guardian Slime. And the reason for that is once I tribute Guardian Slime to bring out my Egyptian God Slime, then Guardian Slime's effect will activate and allow me to grab any card that mentions Winged Dragon of Ra on it. So I'm actually going to grab the True Sun God. I'm going to play the True Sun God. True Sun God allows me to, similar to Guardian Slime, grab any card that mentions Winged Dragon of Raw on it. I could grab Guardian Slime for an uh, extra line of defense, but I'm actually going to go for Millennium Revelation. And you saw me play Monster Reborn once, but I can do it again with this deck. Now I'm going to activate Millennium Revelation. I'm going to send away Winged Dragon of Raw, and then I can grab my Monster Reborn out of the graveyard and essentially recycle it. Where do I go from here? I might as well use Monster Reborn again. Ah, uh, I actually should have brought out Raw with Monster Reborn. All right, this could be a little risky, but I'm going to go for it nevertheless because, you know, <sighs> I got y'all watching. I got y'all watching. I might as well. I'm going to grab Kelbeck. Because what I still really want in my graveyard that I don't have yet is uh, Exchange of the Spirit. So I'm going to play Dugaris. This card is strong, but a little risky. Basically, if I skip my next draw phase, I can draw two cards and then discard one. See what we get. All right. Not ideal, but it will have to do. I'm going to go ahead and send away one of my droplets. I'm going to set droplet. And we have a decent looking board. How many counters does this need? It needs three counters. So I'm thinking right when he gets to three counters. Or maybe I just negate his effect with Baron de Floor. I am just going to activate this now. I'm going to use the effect. I'm going to send away sphere mode. I'm just going to grab my only hand trap that I really have, which is Kelbeck. Basically, if he discards any card, I can make him return a special summon card. Uh, back to the hand if i just forbidden droplet this it'll lose all of its counters is this an important card for this i don't go up against pendulums enough to fully understand i don't know if this is the right call but i'm gonna go ahead and send away kelbeck so now he has no spell counters so i don't even have to worry about that this card looks a little intimidating i'm gonna go ahead and activate kelbeck's effect we have some shufflers in the graveyard. We have another revived sky god, which is going to net us a monster reborn. So we're in a good spot. We still have Baron de Floor. He can't attack anything other than Egyptian god slime. This card doesn't. I, that could be bait. I'm going to allow that to go through. It is not end of the world. I'm actually going to let that go. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have. I didn't realize he was going to gate. I didn't read the full uh, the full extent of what he could do but the true sun god prevents any card that was special summoned from attacking the turn that it was special summoned so i'm actually okay so i'm feeling kind of good i don't like that i no longer and he surrenders he surrenders all right that was a very good starting hand i didn't get all the three gods out at the same time which i wanted to do but um that was still a good duel i want a full drawn out duel i want a full experience playing all three of the egyptian gods my favorite theme in all of master duel this is not a bad hand see what we're playing Ooh, runic runic could be a challenge runic could be a challenge um this is also something you might see in the wcs event that's coming up on the 15th don't uh, make sure you don't miss it runic invoked is interesting i don't think i've run into this before what is up with all these people man if i i'm just intimidating all of my opponents all right now this is a hand that keeps you humble but 
it can work. For example, we're going to play Diviner of Herald. We're going to send away uh, an Agito or a Kelbeck. It's going to thin out my deck by five. And then as long as we get Slifer in the graveyard, we can revive Sky God and then draw six um, or potentially up to six from our deck to the hand and hopefully shut them out from a lot of what they want to do. Easier said than done because we have tier limits again. This is not bad. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, fusion summon one from your extra deck by placing the fusion materials from your hand, field, or graveyard, including this card. Okay, so in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and activate my shuffler mudora seeing cyberstein scares me a bit so i'm gonna hit cyberstein as well maybe it would have been smarter for me to target some of his shufflers as well but i'd rather just respond to his shufflers with my own card effects i'm not gonna activate my kelbeck because i feel like he's gonna get more benefits out of cards being sent to the graveyard than i am so i'm not gonna kind of fall into his trap all right foolish burial a very good card in this deck he can send any card he wants any monster card he wants from his deck to the graveyard we did get exchange of the spirit in the grave so that is promising so that means if we get gravekeeper's trap active then we can shut down all of his graveyard effects this might be the end board i think i stopped his fusion summon when i returned his card back from the graveyard into the deck ah uh, baguska baguska normally is a problem but i've forbidden droplet so i'm not super worried about baguska he does have mudora still which is fine this is what i'm gonna do oh this is actually perfect all right so first i'm going to activate my revive sky god in the graveyard which will allow me to place monster reborn on top of my deck and if i have a god card in my deck or in my graveyard uh then i can add it to my hand and since i do i'm adding it to the hand did i go for the victory immediately can i win oh i know what i'll do i can i can get both so i'm gonna grab guardian slime i'm assuming he's gonna use mudora which he does but luckily for me you can only use mudora once per turn and he already has another mudora in his graveyard so what that means is i can simply use called by the grave and hit his other mudora to basically say no to his effect and then i'm also gonna chain forbidden droplet and i'm gonna send away my called by the grave since i already got its use to negate baguska if you don't know what baguska does if it's in defense mode it forces all my cards into defense mode and then any card that's in defense mode has its effects negated so could be problematic so we're gonna get rid of that negate baguska negate mudora bring out guardian slime and then we are going to from the extra deck call forth our egyptian god slime sending away guardian slime activating it and then we can grab any card or any spell or trap that mentions the winged dragon of Ra. if he didn't have ash blossom that is going to slow us down a little i wish i could tell a lie so instead let's do this let's play ancient chant maybe i should have tried to bait ash blossom by using ancient chant first but we're going to grab winged dragon of Ra from the graveyard all right now things get a little difficult so i'm going to activate diviner of herald well, let's just hope he doesn't send anything too devastating away. He did send away an Agito, so that's going to send even more. Do you know what I'm going to do? Uh, he also sent away a Keldo, so he has another form of... All right, I guess we're going to just have to fight fire with fire now. I'm also going to send away an Agito. I'm going to I'm gonna send away Kelbeck, actually. His Agito is going to activate, sending the top five cards of both of our decks to the graveyard. I have more cards in my deck right now, so I'm not... I'm not extremely worried but um things things can turn on their head pretty fast against tier limits all right so i'm a little weakened sent more away sent more away and he only has six cards left i will set a card no i shouldn't have i should have looked at that all right uh make sure you always check what cards you're trying to send away he should have almost no cards left wait what hold on how does this resolve he won't have enough cards he only has six and i'm sending away five and he's sending away five if he doesn't use his uh shuffler how does that work because i might use my shuffler actually i want to use my shufflers but i want to see how all these cards being sent away when he only has six cards left i need to see how that resolves all right he's gonna negate the effects of my egyptian god slime all right all right he has nothing left okay he has no cards left in his deck. So he's going to have to use his shufflers on his own cards. So as long as I can just get him to draw of his cards, our our win might simply come from... And he hits Exchange of the Spirit. That actually helps me. Target one card, your opponent control, shuffle into the deck. Yep. 
I assumed you would hit that. As you can see, I haven't really lost a lot of confidence yet because I have revived Sky God. So I'm not terribly worried. And I know he's going to have to use this on his own cards. And he can only target three. So if we are able to simply... Okay, Dragostepalia probably should have stopped a little more than what I stopped. Maybe I should be worried. I'm not, but maybe I should be. I'm going to go ahead and set this. Can't be negated, by the way. That's all I can do at the moment. Baguska forces all of his cards into defense mode as well, and their effects are also negated. So it's a double-edged sword. I'm almost positive he's going to use this on his own cards. Oh, yeah, he, he, he's doing whatever he can to not deck out. I'm going to activate my Keldo. Because I have exchange of the spirit in the graveyard, I can actually target more than he can. Uh, I'm going to hit all of my cards that send his cards away. Basically, I'm going to try to use his effects against him. Then maybe one true sun god. Or maybe one harpy's feather duster. I'm going to add these. So that way, when I use revive sky god, I'm more likely to draw into one of my hand traps. This is going to be a bit of a slugfest. And that's still negated from called by. Good thing I didn't use my Mudora. I almost did. Oh no, I was not expecting this. All right, I'm gonna chain revive Sky God. Chain revive Sky God. Now whatever he brings out, he can't put it in attack mode unless he wants to lose life points or not lose life points, but it'll lose attack points. And he's already used his Dragostepalia. So I'm going to bring out Slifer. Do I put it in attack mode? I'm going to put it in defense mode just to be safe. All right. And we did grab an Aguido. So that will help us. Oh, no. He can just negate this. Exterior is so strong. Yikes. This might be it for me. It was a good run, but I needed to play Slifer before he played Cyberstein. I just wasn't expecting him to have it. No. Oh, my card didn't get destroyed. I wish I could tell you why my card wasn't destroyed, but it wasn't, so I'm happy. Oh, wait, I have electromagnetic. Why am I worried at all? I have electromagnetic turtle in my graveyard. I was ready for this. I was born ready for this. And then all I have to do... Oh, wait, he can negate that too, huh? I'm gonna activate turtle now. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. He would have won. Oh, this is so perfect. This is so perfect. Then I activate revive sky god in the grave. I gotta hurry up. We're at 30 seconds. Add Monster Reborn back into my hand. And I have Spear Mode in the hand already. Slifer goes away during end phase. But it's negated. So it's going to stay. <laughs> so it's going to stay. But I think it's perma negated. And then we simply hit this. This. And this. For Spear Mode. On the board. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Special summon this card. Uh, that is okay with me because i think we get to just win the game now and i'm gonna activate kelbeck i'm gonna return your fairy tale snow to your hand so you can't use its graveyard effect <laughs> oh man you love to see it all right then i'm gonna play monster reborn and i'm going to grab you know what i gotta do it i gotta do it i have to simply if i get all three gods out i, I i'll just be so happy that's not all. Then I'm going to activate Mudora. Send away Agito. Yes. And we have Gravekeeper's Trap. So his graveyard is now shut down. That's fine. Target whatever special summon card you want. Probably Slifer. That's fine. I mean, it's a little sad because I wanted to... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to get all three gods out. But it's fine. I will now... I guess I could just win with Obelisk. Why can't I bring Ra out? I, I already summoned, huh? I'm just going to scare him into thinking I'm using Ra. I'm not, though. Negate its effects. Okay. Yeah, you can't target Obelisk. All right. I am just going to play it safe. Utopia. I wanted to bring out all the gods, but now I realize that I'm in quite the rush. All right. Utopia, the lightning battle. Turn toggle off. I uh, kind of messed this up, but I was in a rush because my time is dropping fast. I have to just end the turn, and he just loses my deck out. Ah, but I gotta hurry. Goodbye, Obelisk. You did your best. We could have gotten all the gods out, but I I, I was kind of panicking because of my time. And just, just to let him know that he's done, I'm going to select Exodia. So that's the last thing he sees as he melts away against my Egyptian gods. Did not lose a single duel.
in this little session. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be attempting to run in the WCS. I can't guarantee this is going to work for everyone. I just kind of have, you know, full mastery of my cards. All I want to do is encourage you guys to, you know, try unique stuff, you know, have fun with the game or just run whatever you think is going to be the strongest for your experience. But regardless, again, everyone is a winner. The links are down in the description below. Make sure you participate because everyone's a winner but my goal at some point in the future is to get all three egyptian god cards out in a video i've done it off camera but i, I want to do it in a video thank you for watching and farewell